Welcome to the Life Mastery for Living podcast. I'm Peter Lisiaga, founder of LifeMasteryPlus.com. Life Mastery coach and mentor, master martial arts teacher, husband, father, and entrepreneur, living life to the fullest and fulfilling my potential as a human being. My purpose for this podcast is to be a powerful and passionate example of the unlimited possibilities that life offers to any of us that have the courage to commit ourselves to life mastery while sharing concepts, principles, ideas, and strategies that help you master every area of your life mentally, emotionally, psychologically, physiologically, and spiritually with 100% responsibility and no excuses. Encouraging you, inspiring you to hold you accountable to stay true to your north, what your purpose in your life is. Now, if you're someone like me that is hungry to take your life to the next level, then you're in the right place. Welcome and let's begin. Hi, everyone. Hey, great. Thank you. Hey, welcome to my first episode, first episode 2021, first Sunday of 2021, the first week, the first month, the first Sunday, my first episode of Life Mastery for Life. And I'm so excited about doing this podcast. It's a brand new podcast and decided to do it this year simply because we had uh, the year that we had in 2020. And uh, one of the biggest things that I learned in 2020 was really uh, I had to master my life and all aspects of my life. And over the next uh, several months oh, in these episodes, I'll, this will be coming out every Sunday morning, at least by six in the morning, uh, every week, Sunday morning, every week, I will be talking about life mastery for life. And it has to do with your uh, emotional mastery of your emotions, your mind, your body, your spirit, everything that has to do with uh, embracing your life in a very meaningful way so that you can enjoy peace, joy, and go through all the great emotions that there are to experience in life. And that's my goal. That's just one thing I found over the last several months in 2020. I knew that if I was going to survive this, not just physiologically, right, but mentally and emotionally and spiritually, that I needed to uh, put meaningful effort and attention in certain key areas of my life, so life mastery. So today what I want to do is I want to look, talk about uh, five ways that you can look at your vision and stay true to uh, what I call your north. And I have my notes here, I have some notes up here, so I'll be referring to these notes that I have that I wrote down that I, I, I meditated on, thought about, discussed with other people. Uh, just so that I can come to you guys today and give you some value when it comes to uh, just life mastery. And I will be looking to get together with guests and bring on some guests here so we can discuss the, what they're doing in their lives to master and embrace their life in a meaningful way. And uh, love to have you. If you want to be on the show, let me know. Just reach out to me. Okay, so five ways to look at your vision. I believe that we have to have a vision. There's a saying that says that, that my people uh, uh, lack vision and so we need to have vision and staying true to your north because your north is basically if you have a compass very quickly if you have a compass and the needle in uh, in this world will point north you know no matter where you go that needle will always be pointing north your north is where you want to go where uh, do you want uh, your life to take you to, so it depends on your it all depends on your vision, right? So if you have a vision for yourself, and then you say, okay, my vision is this, that is now my north. So all my steps that I take will uh, keep me focused on going toward my north. I know where I'm going. Is that your roadmap? And so uh, today I want to talk about five ways to look at your vision and stay true to that north where you want to go. And well, I'll go deeper over north and vision over the next several um, episodes. But today I want to talk about five ways to look at your vision because right now everyone's looking uh, into uh, setting goals for this new year and. Uh, whether you believe in, 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 in resolutions or not, doesn't matter to me, but we're going to be doing things, right? So let's 
uh, set goals, but let those goals be based on a vision, on your north, on things that are meaningful for you, that will empower you to, to stay true. Okay, so five things. I want to talk about five ways. The first way is this, and I'm going to talk about where you're going to look. You know, five ways to look. Get it? Look. Okay, the first way is looking above. Uh, looking above in other words you know as a believer you know I have I'm very strong on my faith and I have core values so looking above means looking at uh, 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 at what your core beliefs are and uh, making sure you stay true to your moral compass which what what are your core beliefs and uh, your core beliefs your moral compass will bring integrity to that vision to your north right so that you want to stay true to that north stay true to your vision and you want your core beliefs to be in line with that so your core beliefs will check your motives right it'll check uh, what your motives are and why you want to do what you're going to do so that you are sure to stay focused on those core values so whatever work you do whatever actions you take they're for the right reasons because they're based on your core values. So looking above is maybe, you know, for me, it's like praying to God and just asking God to give me wisdom, give me understanding so that I could uh, choose, uh, make my choices and, and take actions, you know, true to what my core values are. So I look above and I lift it up, as some would say. Uh, so that's one way to look at your vision and stay true to your north. The second way to look at your vision, stay true to your north, is looking within and being self-aware. Okay, you, you will build your ability to be connected uh, to your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions. You've got to look in. You've got to be self-aware. If you are going to, uh, to look at your vision, stay true to your north, you have to look within. So that means self-awareness. And one of the things that I talk about when I do teach self-defense, some of you guys know that, you know, I teach martial arts. One of the things that I do in my life is I teach martial arts. And part of teaching martial arts is teaching self-defense. And then when I do teach self-defense, I speak a lot about the ABCs of self-defense. And the A of the ABCs of self-defense is our three A's. I say, how's your A game? So it's awareness, assessment, and action. And so the number one uh, awareness you need to be focused on and, and pay attention to is self awareness and so one of the ways to look at your vision stay true to your north is to be self-aware and look within be aware of how you're feeling what your thoughts are and what your emotions are be aware assess it and then move to the right appropriate action okay so that is uh, the second way to look at your vision and stay true to your north. Now, the third way to look at your vision and stay true to your north is to look behind, to reflect and review and create that connection between your history and your past. Create a connection to your present and your future. Now, when I say reflect, look behind, doesn't mean look behind and stay focused back there. You look back there, you look at your history, where you came from, whether it's yesterday or 10 years ago or 20 years ago, you look back so that you can make that connection for today, so they can empower you today and move you forward so it empowers you for your future. So one way to look at your vision and stay true to your north is by looking behind and reflecting and reviewing and drawing and taking those lessons learned from the past because those are valuable, hard-earned lessons. Yes, <laughs> okay. So that is the third way to look at your vision and stay true to your north. Now the fourth way to look at your vision and stay true to your north is to look ahead and to look ahead what I call foresight what I call foresight uh, looking where you're going and doing deciding what you're doing now and say okay this is where I want to go this is my vision and to stay true to my north if I keep doing what I'm doing right now saying what I'm saying right now uh, and feeling what I'm feeling right now how does that 
um, bring me closer to where I want to go? How does that keep me on track to, uh, to the path that I want to stay on that brings me sooner and closer, sooner rather than later, to where I want to go, to, to my north. And I, I know as, uh, my memory as I was a kid, that's one thing that I always remember in my life was that I always had this gift to, uh, to really look at what I'm doing at that moment and to have the ability to to look ahead if i keep doing what i'm doing this is what got me out of the streets this is what got me from being someone who was a criminal to say you know that is not sustainable it's not going to lead to anything great okay it's going to lead to destruction and annihilation and so i had enough foresight to say i have to stop this I had to stop that that's how i continue to empower myself and surround myself with with people who had the same kind of mindset read books that had this that empowered me watch programs listen to music and audio use the technology in a very powerful way why because I looked ahead and so that is another way to look at your vision and stay true to your north okay now the fifth way to look at your vision to stay true to your north is to look around to look at everywhere you know to look at your strategies look at concepts principles tr uh, ways to train ways uh, uh, ways to think maybe ideas that are going to help you to stay focused and look at your vision in a meaningful way and stay true to your north and surrounding myself surrounding yourself with the right people so you look around who's around you where are you your surroundings everything look around and uh, make sure you're putting um, in place uh, things people books taking steps creating processes that will help you accomplish what you intend to accomplish as you move toward your north with respect to your vision again that's the fifth way to look at your vision and stay true to your north always looking around again being aware assessing and then creating the right action so that you can stay true to your north okay guys so that's what i have for you in this episode, I thank you so much for joining me. I will do my best to keep them short and concise and hopefully clear. Let me know uh, what you think, what your thoughts are. What are you going to do this year? What are your goals? What's your vision? What are you doing to stay true, quote unquote, to your north? And I've given you five ways that you can look at your vision and stay true to your north. So there's no excuse to set goals and assign tasks and stay on track and true to accomplishing what you want to accomplish for your life this year starting with today and of course if you want my help if you like to connect with me just send me a message or you can email me at peterlisiaga at gmail.com and we'll schedule a one-on-one -on -one session together so where we can get to know each other you can share with me what you'd like to share with me and we can really help you lock in on your north if you don't know what that is or and just motivate you inspire you and encourage you i'd love to do that okay guys so once again happy new year to all of you and hey guys do me a favor if you like oh, what I'm doing please go ahead and like it share a comment and share it with a friend and help me build this podcast one of my things I want to do this year is really to build this podcast and this is my first one and uh, if I do if I uh, stick to my plan I will have 52 at least 52 podcasts th by the end of this year so help me out and I'd love to have uh, um, see if I can get let's say maybe uh, 100 1200 people subscribe to this podcast by the end of this year so those are high goals they say i need your help with that so help me out like share and uh if you think uh if you think of ways that i can improve this please share that as well okay guys so and remember guys life mastery for life is all about embracing life to its fullest so embracing your life to its fullest on a spiritual level on a mental level emotional level on a physical level the full of your full life so embrace it and by doing that you will have joy you will have peace and you will have meaning in your life okay guys until next time have an amazing day god bless you all